Today we're going to be taking a look at three new head torches from Nash. The Microlight, the Multilight and the Mega Light. Now I first saw these at the Nash trade show a couple of months ago, so if you've seen that video which went live a few months ago, you'd have briefly saw these amongst a load of other new products. But this one is dedicated to the head torches. So I'm going to unbox each one, see what they have to offer, what the lighting capabilities are, what different functions they have, and which one's really going to suit you. Because obviously there's three different head torches here. It's going to suit different situations and different anglers and different budgets. So we'll start off with the Microlite, the smallest one of them all. And this is your bog standard does what it needs to do and uh, nobody bells and whistles. So this one comes in around the 20 quid mark if you look online. So if you open the box, it comes padded as in a bit of bubble wrap and it comes with a USB lead as well. So that's all you need. Charges nice and easy. I think it charges fully in only about three hours or so, something like that. It is a micro USB. Now that's one of the things I was a little bit um, shocked, well not shocked by, but confused by. A lot of things are going USB-C now. It's worth noting that all three of these head torches are still sticking with the micro USB. So they don't charge quite as quickly. Maybe that's something that will be uh, changed in the future with, I don't know, sec new versions of head torches, but that's something to uh, be aware of, but it does come supplied with the lead. So it's not like you have to go back and find one of these in a drawer. So I'll put that lead to the side. And this one tilts ever so slightly. So if I show on the closer camera, it's got that amount of movement. So it tilts one direction and that's all the tilt you get on the uh, head itself. So it's not a multi-directional tilt, but that's all you really need. As long as you put this on the right way around, you can tilt it down nicely. So it is worth noting that it's not a multi-directional tilt. I can't tilt it the other way. So you have to put this head torch on the right way around to get that tilting function. So if you get a take at night, make sure you put it on the right, right way round. Got that out eventually. Single, simple strap, fully adjustable. So this one doesn't have the uh, strap that goes over the top of your head, but it's, it's meant to do one thing be useful as a head torch and uh, no bells and whistles. So if you're looking for a more simplified one, then this is where uh, this comes in. The USB charging port is on the bottom and it's just got a little rubber uh, grommet or whatever you want to call that that seals it all up like so. And it's worth noting that each of these head torches are IPX4 water resistant. Now I had to actually Google what the IPX ratings are. Basically means that these are all waterproof from water splashes in any direction. So I wouldn't want to submerge these, drop them in water or anything like that, but uh, it does mean that if you're having it in the rain, then uh, don't worry, they shouldn't have any issues. On the top, one big button, so it's nice and easy to, uh, well, nice and textured, easy to fill, easy to find. So that's another thing, as this has to go on a certain way round, if you pick up this head torch, if you have it on your bucket or like that, it's pretty easy to get it on the right way round, but it's quite obvious that you've got a big button on the very top to turn this on and off. Press it once, it turns on to the first white setting. Again, bit dimmer white. Again, even dimmer white. And then again, you've got the red light. So there's not like a multi buttons on there. You can choose between the red or the white. You have to function through all the different light settings to get to the one you want. So that's something to be aware of. Now you'll get around six to 12 hours of running time from this. Now, of course, that's dependent on what setting you're on. If you're having it on its brightest setting of 150 lumens, of course, it's gonna be on the lower end of that scale. But if you're using it on a dimmer setting, you'll get some more time out of the 1000 milliamp battery that this has inside. And it does take three hours to charge up. Now, for a bit of an, uh, a different test, how easy it is to adjust. It's just got the one adjustment on there there. And as you can see, trying to adjust that, it doesn't wanna budge, probably because I was pulling the wrong bit. So <laughs> that bit doesn't, uh, tighten it or loosen it, it's the inside. So if I pull that tighter, easy as that, I've just adjusted it to uh, make it a bit tighter. Let's try it on my head, so let's see. Nice and easy, once it's on, I can probably tighten it a bit more. Perfect, so although it doesn't have the, uh, the one that goes over the top of the head, I actually find some of those can be quite uncomfortable and, and they can, if you don't have it adjusted correctly, especially with my hair, if I've not got a hat on, it does slowly ride up because it's putting a bit of pressure on the top of my head, it pulls the side bands up and it starts to get looser. As you can see, that's nice and grippy. I mean, I'm not sure how much of this is a useful test, but flinging my hair around, uh, flinging my head around is staying on nice and comfortably. And uh, it's got a good grip. Obviously, I've tightened up nicely, but it's not coming off anywhere. If anything, my hat's going to come off first. So nice and stable once it's on. So that is the Microlite in a nutshell. Now, if you stick around for a bit, I will be showing the difference of brightness settings between each of the head torches on their fullest, on their dimmest as well. So now we'll move over to the multi-light. As you can see, a bit of a bigger box. So of course there's more in here and the light is completely different itself in shape as well. So if I open this up, let's see what we get in the box. Put 
back to the side. So we've got some adapters, various different things, which I'll get onto in a second, and the head torch itself. And again, we've got the micro USB lead included in the pack. So if we start with the head torch itself, take these rubber bands off. Once again, we are greeted with the same or very similar single strap. So again, it doesn't have the one that goes over the top of the head. Slight differences that I'm noting, noticing is that the gnash on the side, like the text, is glow in the dark. So this, same as the one I get onto in a second, these glow in the dark. So if you put this down at night and you, you want to see where it is, obviously if, you've, if it's been out in the day or it's got any kind of UV uh, build up in there, it should glow, a nice subtle glow so it's easy to find. Even in this daylight, I can still see when the shade that's glowing more. So quite simple, uh, once again, so if I just adjust this to the shape of my head, a bit different in that I've got to push it through the lead there and pull it round. It's a bit more fiddly to adjust the strap itself. There we go. Try this on. Again. <laughs> Give myself a bit of a headache. Nice and sturdy. It's a very lightweight head torch once again, so that's not coming off anytime. So once it's adjusted, that's nice and snug. Now the light itself on the bottom, again we have the uh, rubber seal for the USB recharging port on the bottom. Once again, IPX4 weather resistant, so it can withstand water droplets or water splashes from any direction. And this, I forgot to mention, the micro light can be dropped from a height of around two meters of shock resistance. This and the mega light that I'm going to get onto only has a shock resistance of one meter. So be careful that if you are going to fall off your head, make sure you're on your hands and knees when you do so, because otherwise most of us are taller than one meter. And of course, it should probably still uh, withstand the drop on to gravel and grass and things, but be aware that they aren't as shock absorbent as the smaller one. So just like with the micro light, we've got a one button on the very top. It's nice and simple to use, press and hold, and we've got the brightest white setting, tap again, and it goes to a dimmer setting. Now to get to the red setting, all you've got to do is if I turn it off, press and hold, when the white comes on, keep holding it, and then you get to your red. So that's how you flip between the red and the white. If I press and hold again, it turns off, press and hold again, back to the white, and then you flip between the two, like so. Now it's worth noting that on the highest setting, so when you first turn this on, it's 180 lumens, which is 30 more lumens than what the micro light was. Obviously, I'm not sure exactly how much a lumen is, so I will show you a comparison between the three in a bit once I've got through all the different lights. So I'll turn that back off for now, and we move over to some of the different brackets. Then we've got this one, which if I uh, just go back to the head torch a second, it pops off the head torch like so. So there's the head torch, the light does come completely off, so it clips in at that, which also is worth noting that that means it's uh, able to be tilted 180 degrees up and down. So it doesn't matter which way around you put the head torch on, if you chuck it on in a rush in the night, you can flip it all the way around like so. But pull that back out, and we've got three different mounts that it comes with. So the first one, if I clip it into there, quite tight grips. Go on. Cool, hold on. Oh, there we go. So, safe to say it's not going to come out of these grips very easily. Now this one, as you can see, is a heavy duty plastic grip. Now what's this designed for is a bushwhacker. So click it on the end, like so. So if I'm shipping a bait out at night and I want to get under a tree line that I can't really see very well with a, a head torch on my head, just you can put this on, ship it all the way out and you can light up exactly where you're putting this nice and easily at night. So just pop that back off there, stick that to the side. I would also think that this could potentially be used, whether you'd want to, on a cap or something like that. It would clip on there, but then you could rotate it. So say you've got a flat cap, you want to put that on, you slot it on there like so, wear your cap, and then you can just fling a cap on at night. Nice, probably much easier than trying to put an elasticated headband on. So it's quite a handy little bracket. Now if I pull this one off, there we go. The next one, it pops into, once again, still rotates in all directions. This one has a little rubber, sort of, uh, I don't know what you call the rubber strap. Oh, it popped off, so it falls off this one a bit easier than the other one. Put it back in there. Uh, little rubber strap that has adjustability to go around landing net poles. So if I grab my landing net pole here, stick it on there. I mean, it may, just to show you, just, just for an example, you can stick it on a landing net pole, but it would easily go on say a storm pole the side of your bivvy but that's how it fits onto something 
you wrap it around like so. You probably wouldn't have it on a, on a uh, mat like this because it's beaming straight like that or to a side. So probably not for a landing net hot pole, but if you're stuck on a storm pole or uh, at the tops, so it beams out in front of your swim. When you get a bite, you just quickly run out and turn it on and it beams your swim rather than having it just on your head. It's quite nice that that comes with it. And all of these brackets are included in this head torch. So actually, I'll take it off there, leave that one on the, uh, on the net handle. And then the last one, if I undo this, again, can fit on anything you really want it to because you pop it in the end like so very sturdy grip once again you've got lots of movement in there this one you could easily put onto a landing net pole again so this one if i grab my landing net pole again i can slide it down like so tighten that up obviously i've done it a bit loosely but you could easily attach it to a landing net pole like that then it is shining in the right direction Take it off of there, loosen it off. Back to the side. You've also got magnets on the bottom, so let's get rid of this little bit of wiring. If I take that strap out, like so, you've then got just a magnet. So if I put this on the roof of my bivvy, you've then got a magnet strap, uh, magnet clip just there, so you can use it as like a bivvy light. Nice and simple like so. So if I stick this up there, there we go. It's magneted on, magnetized on, so I can beam that back into my bivvy or alternatively have it facing out of my bivvy. And if I get a bite, turn it on and again, illuminate my swim. So it doubles up as a bit of a bivvy light if you want it to. Try not to drop that little coin. So it's quite handy that this can be used as a multitude of different things. Now that little strap that I've just taken off, as you can see, can be threaded back in in either direction. So that can wrap around to any kind of storm pole, a bivy leg or a net handle, anything you want really. So it's quite nice to know that in this kit, you get all of these different mounts included with it. So if you want to put this head torch wherever you want, you can. But I'll put it back onto the main strap. There we are, back to a normal head torch. Now this head torch has two 640 milliamp batteries in, and that gives you a range of around two to 11 hours of usage time. Again, that depends on what setting you're having it on. Higher setting, you're gonna get the much lower end of that scale. Higher, uh, lower setting, you're gonna get much more time out of it, but nice and easily recharged again by the micro USB on the bottom. So if you prefer the flat profile and the fact that this one rotates in both directions and all the different brackets everything included then this is probably one for you it does come in a bit more expensive because this one comes in around the 60 quid mark but you do get a lot more for your money so a very universal head torch and not many head torches come with all these different brackets to make it usable in all those different scenarios so that is the multi-light so if we put all that to the side the last one the big boy is the mega light now the first thing you notice about this one is it's 760 lumens, so quite a jump up from the micro light and the mega light and the uh, multi light. Sorry, so this one is the uh, biggest one of the three. So, if I open this up, see what we've got in the box. No brackets or anything in this one, that's because the head torch is the party piece of this one. Again, micro USB charging lead included. You've also got this, which is a replacement for this. So, it's got a rechargeable battery inside this, but this takes double A batteries and you could put, I think it's three in here. Yeah, three batteries in here. So if that completely dies and you haven't got a power pack on you, but you've got this as like a, a backup, you can stick three double A's in there, put this in the head torch and you're still good to go. So uh, even if you use this a lot and you're getting low on power, there's, if as long as you've prepared beforehand, you've got a backup power supply for this head torch. So we'll pop that to the side. And then the main head torch itself is quite a, a bulky one, if I'm honest. So this one, slightly different strap, because it is bigger, you've got a thicker strap, still elasticated all the way around, but it sort of spreads its uh, elastic uh, straps towards the back to house the power pack. So this is the power pack, and uh, you've got a button on the back that tells you how much charge you've got. So if I press that, you see I've got four, bats, four uh, lights, four LEDs, for charge. So as that depletes, it lets you know how much charge you've got left. And then on the top of the head torch itself is where you turn on and off the head torch itself. It's quite simple. Now, because this is beefier, obviously it's going to be a bit more cumbersome to wear and have on your head, but I've got to say, it's not very heavy. This looks pretty bulky, but in comparison to, I could obviously, yes, there is a big, there's a bit of a difference, but it isn't like a massive night and day difference, excuse the pun when I'm talking about lights, 
but uh, it really isn't a very heavy item, so that's quite impressive to start with. So if I put this on my head, I haven't actually adjusted this yet, so let's see if it's the right size. But there we go. Again, pretty comfortable. It's a bit more over my ears, I'd say. The other ones have gone around just above the ears. This one is pushing a little bit more on the top of my ears. So if you're a glasses wearer like I am, that does get a bit wearing over the time. It doesn't matter what head torch I really wear. If it's on that area, my frames of my glasses do start to dig in. But considering this is much more bulky, it's starting to make my hat slide off, but it's the hat sliding off before the head torch itself. So it's still pretty grippy on your head as well. Nice and comfortable. Impressive. I mean, not many of you are going to be headbanging around the bank. So uh, it's worth noting that it does stay on nice and comfortably anyway. Now the light itself has, excuse me, we've got hair stuck in there, a simple on off button at the top. It tilts in one direction. It's got three different tilt uh, abilities. So it's got flush to the mount itself, one notch down, two notches down, three notches down, and that's as far as it goes. So it's pretty much completely down and then all the way back up. One button on the top, press that and it turns on, obviously. Press again, off. So it's got an on, off, uh, dimmer, sorry, and down to its lowest, and then completely off. There isn't a red function on that, so make note that there isn't a red function on that. But if I turn it back on, that's on its brightest setting. What's pretty cool about this is you can direct the light. So at the moment, the lens is on its widest. It's threading quite a wide angle of light. But if I twist this, if you see on that camera, the lens comes out and it makes the light extremely directional. So if I try and show you on that camera, as you can see, I can actually feel the heat from this. There's a bit of heat from this light, it's worth noting, because it's so powerful, there's a bit of heat from it. And if I twist it back to its widest setting, you can see it's a much softer light all over my hand. Twist it once again, and it's a beam. So this is ideal if you're into lamping fish. Now it's not something I've done myself, but if you want a nice bright light to be able to penetrate through the water layers and try and find the fish at night, if you're doing after work sessions this time of year, it's dark very early, trying to find the fish, lamping fish, you need a bright light and a directional light that can beam through down to the depths of uh, the water to help you find fish. So that's something that, like I said, I've not done much myself uh, at all really, but if that's something that interests you, then do have a look at this. The power supply, of course, has to come from the back to the front, so it has got a lead around the side, which is a bit more bulky than any of the other items. That's a small price to pay when it comes to the amount of power you're getting from this. Now, although this doesn't have a red light, it is very versatile when it comes to the actual white light itself because it ranges from 28 lumens all the way up to its 750 lumens. And that's to do with the direction of the light, how centered or concentrated it is, and also what power level you have the light on. Now, probably the most impressive thing about this is its runtime. The 3000 milliamp battery that is within this is three times the size of the micro light. So that gives you a bit of an idea of the power of this thing. And that gives you a runtime even on its maximum setting of four hours. And if you have it on its lowest setting, it gives you up to 81 hours of time. So uh, I don't think you'll have to be charging this very often if you're having it on its lowest setting. But of course, if you're going for this item, the likelihood is you're going to be using it for its strong uh, beam, its uh, maximum power. So it's nice to know that it'll give you four hours of constant usage on that maximum setting. It's very, very impressive indeed. And that doesn't include the power output you'll get from the AA batteries instead. Of course, it's going to be a lot lower, I would have guessed. And that also depends on what quality batteries you put in. But it's nice to know that the battery pack included gives you that amount of uh, duration. Now, if you want to know what sort of range of light you're getting from this on its widest beam, you're getting about 42 meters of distance. But if you put it on its maximum setting, on its most honed in beam, you're getting 220 meters. So very impressive distance as well. And lastly, it's worth noting that this comes in around 99 pounds. So there we have all three head torches next to each other. As you can see, size difference between the mega light, multi light, and the micro light. But now you want to see a difference in light outputs from each of them in a real world scenario. So starting off with the micro light, here it is on its maximum setting. Dropping down through the settings. And now we move over to the multi light on its maximum setting, slightly lower setting. And lastly, we have the mega light. So this is it on its widest beam, on its strongest setting. Now on its narrow beam, again, on its strongest setting. And then turning it down to the lighter setting, wide beam, and the lighter setting, zoomed in. 
Following this test, I decided to walk about 40 paces away from the camera. I'm using a 50mm camera lens here and starting off with the micro light, working my way through the settings down to the red light. Now I did find that the red light didn't really pick up on the other angle, so you can see a bit more on that shot just there. But this is the micro light on its fullest power. And as you can see, it's a lot more directional than the multi light, which we're gonna to switch to now. I found that the multi light is much more of an ambient light. So although it's slightly power, more powerful in lumen terms, it's not as directional. So if you're looking for something with more of a beam, then the micro light is probably the one to go for over the multi light. But as you can see, as I go through the settings on the multi lights, that's the two white brightnesses. And then we flick to the red. Again, it's just a much more dull light that, uh, just to see around your bivvy. Moving on to the mega light, there's uh, no way of mistaking this. It's like a headlight coming straight towards you. So extremely powerful. The beam shone through all the trees with no issues. Back at the camera, that's on its widest setting now on full power. And then we switch down to the dimmer setting and then go around to the full beam forwards as well. Now we'll move on to a full comparison of them all. And to round that all off, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of each of these head torches on their maximum output. So there you have a run through of the three head torches from Nash. The micro light at 20 quid, the multi light at 60 quid, and the mega light at 99 pounds. So let us know in the comment section below which one suits your style of fishing most. If you like the look of these, which one you're probably going to go for, or if you're just going to stick with the one you've already got, because I know you always like to tell us that you're going to stick with your existing one anyway. But let us know in the comment section below what you think of these. If you like this video, please hit like, and remember to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon if you haven't already, so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. Well, that's it from me for now. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon.